Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, it's all fall everything. I'm going to be showing you my fall home decor, doing a little mini home tour, showing you how I change things up for the season. I'm also gonna be sharing some small businesses with you that make gorgeous artisanal products for fall, like candles, soaps, essential oils, makeup. These are companies that you likely have never heard of and they deserve our attention. I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts on the new Mrs. Meyers fall scent and an idea on how you can make your own fall scented cleaning products at home. So go ahead and make yourself a cup of tea and join me for this all fall everything on The Daily Connoisseur. Okay, welcome to our home. This is our welcome mat and I don't have a wreath on the door yet because I can't find it to be perfectly honest with you. But you walk into the home and this is what you see. You know I love getting antique paintings on eBay and a lot of my paintings are very fall-esque, I think. This is just a little candelabra with some fall leaves. And there is the best book on the market right now. Yes, that's my book, Connoisseur Kids. I highly recommend you pick it up for your family. I really like decorating with uh, dried, fall foliage as well as faux foliage and as you can see I've adorned the top of this beautiful cabinet with this really pretty uh, fall decor. This is from Michael's Craft Store. And this is our living room. Everything is pretty subtle. We still have our white sofas out but I definitely love having the fur throws, fur pillows. You can see that plaid blanket there and just these small little touches cozy up the room, they make everything warmer, and it certainly feels like fall. Right here in this corner, I've picked a giant bouquet of fresh rosemary. The scent is outstanding, and it just it smells so smoky and like fall. And here is a bowl of pomegranates. These are picked from my parents' tree always have books around in the fall season and I like decorating with kind of orange flowers. Here's the mantelpiece and this is just that beautiful fall foliage that I like to put on every year and I have some books there. Edgar Allan Poe is the October chic assignment. The kids put those leaves there from the Dollar Tree and my son loved this scarecrow. So I do definitely mix decor that the children like and choose along with my decor. So if you saw one of my shop with me videos, I did get this table runner and tablecloth here at Home Goods. And I love our grandfather clock. This is handmade by my grandfather. This Victorian painting I have is one of my favorites go and talk about some gorgeous fall products now. We're going to start off with Ben Soap Company. I love Ben Soap. I did a few reviews on them in the past for Natural Home with Jennifer. They have all natural goat milk soaps. This is a family business and they are so excellent. So right there you can see the Almond Delight Goat Milk Lotion an amazing scent. You know I love almond. It's one of my favorite scents. And here you have their outstanding soap collection. They sent me some of the scents that are perfect for fall like Tangerine Spice, Mount Bachelor Pine, Oatmeal and Honey, and the All Shield. And they just have such natural but gorgeous scents. So Ben Soap is really good for people with eczema and it's just a wonderful natural product. I highly recommend them. I love their milk bath here and it's just such a treat. So you just sprinkle some of this into your bath and you mix it up and you can't really tell in the video but it gets really milky. When you get in it's like you're sitting in milk and it is so moisturizing and relaxing. It makes a wonderful gift. Okay, so let's talk about essential oils. So these are from the Sudsy Soapery. Do you remember that wonderful small business company? They have started a line called Mira Pure and they have these amazing fall scents. 
Their Harvest Blend is so good. It's a proprietary blend of allspice, caraway seed, cardamom, ginger, orange tenfold, and cinnamon. The cinnamon leaf is warm and spicy and sweet, and the clove bud is also warm and spicy. They smell so delicious and delightful. And the orange tenfold is just a very potent citrus sweet smelling essential oil. The Sudsy Soapery also do soaps and these are handmade. You can tell they're just very rustic and they have some awesome fall scents. So this one right here is Harvest Apple and it just smells like a Harvest Apple. That's exactly what it smells like. This one is Cinnamon. This one's a goat milk soap. This one is Oatmeal and Honey Soap. And finally they have a pumpkin poppy seed soap. Oh my goodness, it smells so good and it's all natural. So their soaps are awesome. Here I'm just diffusing some of the oils. I love this oil diffuser. It's from Amazon and it's my favorite one. I have a few different types of diffusers, but I'm just doing the Harvest Blend right here and um, it lights up in different colors, but my favorite is just simply the white color. And we like to diffuse this around the house and it smells really good. Okay, let's talk fall candles. So this is the Cellar Door Candle Company and another amazing small business that needs to be known. Their candle wax is blended from scratch using only local organic beeswax and cold pressed coconut. They don't use any ingredients that have been chemically processed and the candles do not soot when they're lit. So they are amazing. This is the lemon verbena essential oil and Jamie from Cellar Door sent me also their car diffuser. So you could put some essential oil in this to scent your car and wow, it's so nice. I love it. Here is their reed diffuser and Pacific Northwest scent. Uh, it's just this unique wood essential oil, pure fir needle and red birch. The large candle is Indian cedar, which is Indian cedar and rosewood. And then the smaller candle is the kasha, which is a rare deep cinnamon aroma. Now this is one of the candles from the Sudsy Soapery and it's Abide With Me made with pure patchouli essential oil. So this is another great option for fall. I love showing these small businesses uh, with these gorgeous, homemade candles. They are just so delightful and all natural. Okay, let's talk about makeup. So many of you have been commenting on my makeup in recent videos and I have been trying out this makeup from the Organic Skin Company and they have these pods that you can purchase and put in their palette. I don't actually have the palette but I'm going to buy it because I love this makeup. So they have all sorts of different warm tones and these are the eyeshadows and lip colors that I have been using lately. All right, let's go back down to the kitchen and I just want to show you just what the kitchen is like during the fall season. So I bake a lot. There you can see my feet. I'm wearing my uh, black tunic and leggings and my favorite slippers, of course, because it's autumn now. And here I'm baking some chocolate chip banana bread. Okay, Mrs. Meyer's fall scents are here as well. Apple cider is my absolute favorite. They have a new one called Acorn Spice. This one is really good too. It's a bit spicier. It's a definite winner. So my kitchen is pretty cozy this time of year. I like to keep it stocked. I do a lot of baking and I just want it to be a warm and welcome space. These are pomegranates from my parents' tree. I like to decorate with them. I think an overflowing bowl of pomegranates this time of year is so lovely. So I like to cook a lot of stews and soups. This is a red lentil soup I made in the Instant Pot. I make lentils at least once a week in the Instant Pot and they're so healthy and just delicious. So fall, I think. Here's another example of something I'll make. I'm doing a large batch chicken pot pie. So I just put the vegetables with the shredded chicken. Perfect for fall, right? I love that browned homemade pie crust. So here are the chocolate chip banana breads. And I've made some cornbread over there too. And let's talk about cleaning products. So I'm actually going to show you a dupe for the Mrs. Myers um, fall scents. So if you get a 
container. That one's from Grove. I'm going to fill half of it with white vinegar and half of it with water. And then I'm going to put in that Harvest Blend essential oil. And you can put about 20 drops in. That's probably good. This creates a wonderful fall scented cleaning product if you don't want to go out and buy the Mrs. Myers or if they sell out before you get to them. And it's a great one. I really hope that you enjoyed this fall extravaganza here on The Daily Connoisseur. Everything that I mentioned in today's video will be linked down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!